want to show you this three-way pool and spa test kit. This is a chlorine, bromine, and pH test kit, and it's one of those little drop test kits. So if you look at it, we've got a yellow and we've got a red different drops, and that'll be the left and right side of this guy. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill this with water up to this little line right here, and then you're going to add five drops of the yellow on the left and five drops of the red on the right. So we're going to go ahead and do that and take a reading. We've got our yellow solution and we're going to add five drops on the left very carefully one two three four and five there's our five drops on the left and i can already tell that i have jacked my chlorine level up really high so that reading is going to be interesting and it may just be a little bit off the charts all right, and then on the right side, we are going to use our red solution on the right side. And we're gonna do the five drops again. So one, two, three, four, and five. And with this kit, you have to be very careful because it is really easy to get multiple drops out of this at the same time. So you just wanna be careful and go slow. Okay, and with that, we put our little cap on and we give it a good shake. And looking at this, this is quite interesting. I can tell that my pH is right around 8.2, which is really high, and I may need to bring my pH down. I have some pH down that I can use to bring that down. And then on the other side, I've got orange for chlorine. My chlorine levels are really high, which is probably why pH is high too, because I added a bunch of shock yesterday. I was having issues with algae, and I shocked the pool, and that put our chlorine up here in like the 10-ish range, which is why it's orange instead of yellow. So you want to keep it between 1 and 3 on the chlorine side, and then you want it between 7.2 and 7.8 on the pH side. And you have these little white lines right here that'll tell you, like, this is the minimum it should be, and this is the max, and then this is the minimum, and this is the max. So I'm out of the range because I was dealing with algae, and I've upped my levels, but this test kit works really well. The only complaint I had was you want to go slow, and you want to do these drops one at a time so you don't accidentally put too much in but honestly that's just me getting used to the little squeezy bottle but yeah if you're looking for a nice way to test your chlorine levels in your pool the drop test kits are way better than the strip test kits and this is definitely a good way to go well that's about it for now thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one